The p-value is one of the most important concepts in statistics. It's the output data scientists most often rely on, supplying evidence against a null hypothesis that helps you decide whether to support or reject it. However, manually calculating the p-value is an involved process. Aside from having to check if you have followed the correct formulas for every step, you also have to double check whether you have the correct values to begin with. Using spreadsheet tools like those included with Google Sheets help avoid the risk of ending up with false results due to bad calculations. Let's take a look at how. Calculating the p-value in Google Sheets is actually pretty easy. As an example, we'll use two datasets and compare them to see if there's a statistical significance between them. What we have here are someone's push-up and pull-up progression numbers. To compare these datasets, we'll have to use the t-test function. You can find the syntax available in the description below. Here, array 1 refers to the push-ups column, and array 2 refers to the pull-ups column. Tails represents the number of tails used for the distribution. You get two options here, one for one-tailed distribution and two for two-tailed distribution. Lastly, type represents an integer value, which can be 1, 2, or 3, wherein 1 stands for paired t-test, 2 for two sampled equal variance t-test, and 3 for two sampled unequal variance t-test. To use the t-test function, select an empty cell and name it t-test. In the cell next to it, we'll enter the formula equals t-test parentheses a2 to a7 comma b2 to b7 comma 1 comma 3. Hit enter and the result will appear in that cell. Alternatively, you can input array 1 and array 2 by holding your cursor at the first position, which is cell A2, and dragging it to the bottom of your column. Two of the most common error messages you might get when doing this are num and name. To avoid the num error, make sure that you enter the proper tails and type arguments, which should be equal to 1 or 2 and 1, 2, or 3, respectively. To avoid the name error, make sure you enter numeric values for your tails and type arguments. If you liked this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Google Sheets and other technology. And do not forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.